Hey, we haven't done a tool review in a couple of weeks and I'm getting ready to do something here. Use one of my favorite tools. And the reason it's one of my favorite tools is because it's one of the most useful and it's not very expensive. Sooner or later, you need a tractor to get some stuff done. Now, the tractor works as long as the tractor doesn't overheat. When you're cutting brush this time of year, especially with the dry grass that's left over from last season, there's a lot of tuft and little stuff at the top of it that when you cut it, it turns into this fuzzy foam blanket stuff. And what it does is it comes in here and it clogs your radiator. During this season in the spring, about once a week, I'll come through and I'll blow this stuff out. It's some really nasty stuff. So this radiator's got a little, a couple little screens on the outside of it to help keep some of the bigger debris off of it. And you'll never see a time when it's more obvious how useful that is than right about now. Let's get this out of here. You can see all that. It's like, it's like the stuff you pull out of your dryer after you run a load of clothes through it. It's got this thick carpet of it's just vegetative material is all it is. It keeps it from letting air come through. That part of it comes off pretty good. Unfortunately, a lot of that goes through the screen and that ends up right there in your radiator. That thick, nasty blanket right there is really gonna cut down the efficiency of your radiator. You're gonna have some overheating problems. I'm gonna show you what I use and I absolutely love this product. This tool is called the Radiator Genie. Now it comes with two wands. One of them can be hooked up to a water hose. The other one gets hooked up to an air hose. And all you need is an air hose, compressor with an air hose, and it blows a lot, a high amount of pressure through that little crimped end really clean stuff up. If you look, you'll see it's really blowing that stuff out of there. You should check your user manual to make sure this method is appropriate for your make and model of tractor. That took very little time, cleaned the radiator up real nice, and we are back in business. I'm gonna put a link down in the description so you can find it. And once again, that was the Radiator Genie, one of my favorite tools. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.